Well, good Friday evening and welcome into Wilton in the southeast corner of Cedar County as we get ready for week number four. Week number two in district play, West Branch taking on the Wilton Beavers. Stephen Grace, Mike Quinlan, and Jerry Flagel saying thanks for joining us from the uh, pink visiting coaches room so uh yes. <laughs> I just noticed that now uh, <laughs> down here in Wilton and yeah guys last week got thrown an audible and uh Quinny had to make the trek up to Solon to play a home game yeah. came up short on that comeback attempt but uh I think from what we saw in that fourth quarter grew up a little bit and hoping to see that translate here this week about ready to get going here the approach, and we are underway. Bears and Beavers from Wilton, fielded by Stone at about the 12. Comes right up the middle of the field and is brought down just shy of the 30-yard line. Four or five white jerseys come up off the bottom of that pile, so Wilton takes over right there. Bears will start out in a 3-4 defense, so Henson in. Drake Berry playing the nose. Trips to the right for Sawbelt. Pressure coming. They throw underneath. Catch is made and tackled right away. Nice open field stop there by the Bears. There is a handoff right up the middle and nothing doing right there for Jackson Hall as he is brought down. No gain on the play. And that Bears defense, really good job that time, guys. Just stuffing. Wilton sends twins to the right with a tight end that way. One receiver comes back here to the left. Now we've got movement, and a couple of guys jumped early, so that's going to be at five yards back for Wilton. And 10 for the Beavers. Trips right. One over here is Rosenkild to the left. Savile from the gun. Bears showing pressure. Flares it out over here, and he's going to get brought down from behind. Buell finishes him off. Sexton was there along with Bowie. Now we've got a late flag coming in. That's a, that's a wise move. Well, Belt going to go back for the Bears. Carver. Snap, spot, kick. This one will be a short kick that will hit. Take a Wilton hop and come to a stop at the 25-yard line. So um, well, the Bears offense comes out trying to get things going. Just 12.7 points per game. Gavin out of the shotgun has... Twin receivers both ways. He's going to run the speed option. Turns it up. Not a lot of running room. He's going to get brought down after a gain of a yard on the play. It's 169 per game, three touchdowns, and two interceptions. Second down and nine. Twins both ways. Now Belt comes motion left to right of the formation. There is the little flare pass out here to him, and he bobbles a little bit. Carver gets it back under control, weaves through a small hole, gets across the 35, out close to the 40-yard line. A nice block by Simon Palmer broke that one. That'll be a gain of 14 on the play, it looks like. 40-yard line, Bears moving from left to right. Palmer and Miller to the right, Belk to the left. Motion Peyton out, now we've got a penalty flag, and... Penalty on the play. After a similar set right there, except Belk in. He motions from left to right. And come over here. Nothing doing there. Gavin under pressure. Rolls out to his left. Looks for a couple of blocks. Breaks a couple of tackles. Now he's got some running room. 35 and out close to the 40-yard line. Gain sniffed out, but Gavin was able to make something out of nothing. Second down and 11 now. Sexton motions left to right. They will flare it out over to him, makes the catch, looks for some downfield blocks, lowers the shoulder, fights his way out towards midfield, gets across, and will be enough for the first down, it looks like. 45 to go, first quarter, no score, opening drive for the Bears after they forced a three and out. Gavin straight drop back to pass, throws, goes deep, he's got a man there, and it's caught by Peyton Miller. He was all alone in the flat, breaks another tackle, gets inside the Wilton 30 to the 28, a gain of 22 on the play. Well thrown ball. That was right in front of Quinn and I over here. Uh, Gavin has uh, threaded the needle on that one. Yard line. Gavin sends twins both ways. Sexton motions left to right. And there's the handoff for Henson. Breaks one tackle in the backfield. Breaks yeah. another one. Gets into the second level. Penalty flag comes down as he gets inside the 20-yard line. Penalty flag on the near side. I'm guessing that's going to be illegal motion. To the 30... 
two and a half yard line, first and 15 for the Bears. Backs either side of Gavin out of the gun. They will hand off for Belk, probing the right side and run down from behind as he gets inside the 30 to about the 29. Hopefully he just kind of tweaked and he starts to loosen up a little bit as this game goes on. Peyton motion right to left, trips left that way. And there is the flare out to Peyton and he's drilled. Kale Brisker, that is a nice double leg from a wrestler right there. Points per game. Have the Bears third and 15, and now the Bears are going to shift. And that's going to be an offsides penalty. Goreless ball game. Bears have it third down and 10 from the Wilton 28-yard line. Twins both ways. Peyton comes in motion left to right. Gavin straight drop back to pass. Good protection. Steps up, fires. He's got Peyton again in the opening. Turns it up at the 15 and trips down to the 14-yard line. That'll be a gain of 14 on third and 10 first down Bears. Ash, they come into that elephant package. Cole Bailey in at a fullback, unbalanced to the right side. And there is the handoff that way for Henson. Not a lot of running room. He's going to get stood up and dropped for a loss on the play. Henson. Same formation for the Bears. This time Jack Buell lines up tight end on the left side. Now they bring Peyton in motion. Toss sweep looking that way. Turns it up and tries to find a little bit of a seam. Falls ahead to about the 12-yard line. Need to get just inside the five. Back to the gun for Gavin. Belt comes in motion. They fake it to him. Speed option left side. Henson makes the catch, turns it up, fights his way down. He's going to be Ooh, close, but I think just short. Really good effort. <laughs> you guys are a lot closer. It looked like he fell forward to about the five. Wilton putting a six-man line. Miller goes in motion left to right. Penalty flag comes in, and did the Bears take too much time? yard field goal attempt from the left hash Caleb with the snap spot kick plenty of leg and it is ah, right through the uprights 412 to go first quarter Bears scrap crack the scoreboard first they lead three to zero back right after this you're listening to the Bearcast at westbranchfootball.com Fed walks off his steps Ready's the coverage team, the approach. Another high, shorter kick, fielded by Stone at the 16. Comes up the near side, and nice open field tackle by the outside man, Brady Hunger, right there. And the Beavers come out, twins both directions. Bears showing blitz, and they flare it out over here, and Colby Savalt gets the catch and breaks one tackle in the backfield. And what should have been a tackle for a three or four yard loss turns into about a three yard yep. game. And that is and, uh, exactly right, Grace. A matchup on the uh, line I'm watching. Jeff Bowie is matched up across the line from, uh, oh gosh, big old number 72. He's Briggs a, Hartley, 6'4, 315. He's a house. Yeah. Now we've got timeout, I think, taken by Wilton. Here's second down and six for Wilton. Wins left with a tight wing on that left side. One receiver to the right. There is the keep by Sauvolt. Tries to get to the outside. Fed runs him down and brings him down just shy of the 38-yard line. Down at the 37. Third down and a long two here for the Beavers. Definitely not. Tight end left. Tight wing on the right. There is the handoff for Hole up the middle, and he is stood up and dropped. Good job. Great job from the center of that defense. Bailey and Henson and Sexton up off the bottom of the pile. Play, and luckily the fellow Bears were there to help him out. Carver Belk back to his own 25-yard line to receive the punt of Colby Sauvel, averaging 33 yards coming into tonight. Bit of a high snap. He gets it down. A very high short kick. It's got some backspinning on it, but it takes a decent Wilton hop, but it will get down at the West Branch 41-yard line. So great field position for the Bears. 56 to go, first quarter. Sexton and Belk right, Miller and Palmer to the right. Peyton goes in motion right to left now. Gavin from the gun. Pump fakes to him, steps oh, up in the pocket, deep. going deep, we're and he's deep. got Belk wide open, makes yes. the grab at the 23. He's going to take this one, 59 yards. Yes. West Branch touchdown, Hirschman to Carver Belk. Wow, they, they bet on that. Peyton doing that little swing pass, slip screen, and Belk got behind him. 
59 yards on first down. Gavin, hey, we're not quite centered with the center here, so yeah. let's, uh, <laughs> let's just scoot that over a yard or two. Wow. There's the snap spot kick, and Fed drills that one all the way through. So, 147 to go. The Bears up to a 10 0 lead, and he's been averaging inside the 15 on most of them. And the last the first two here tonight have been about the same. And they got two returners inside the five. This one is going to get fielded at the seven, eight yard line. Stone again, right up the middle of the field. Nice open field tackle. Uh, oh, yeah. Belk. And Carver and, Belk and is and Domin fired up. Dominic Culver in there. And uh, that was a textbook tackle, how yeah. they did that. That's how to use your shoulder pads right there. <laughs> Wilton getting set. They send twins both ways. Savel brings motion. Fakes it to his brother. Goes on the pop pass to the tight end. Oh, and Bad almost picked it off. Kale from that middle linebacker spot dropped into coverage and was able to come over and grab it, knock it down. Second down and 10 for Wilton. Trips bunched to the left, the short side of the field. Sawvell straight drop back to pass. Looks, nothing there. He's going to get hit and dropped in the backfield. Drake Berry is going to get the quarterback sack inside the 20 to the 17-yard line. We had a very good push on there from our defensive line. I don't know, all four of those guys were pushing their guys back. Empty look for Sovel. Trips right, twins left. Straight drop back to pass. Pressure coming. Throws a little early. Yes! This one is going to get picked by Andy Henson at the 28, up the middle of the field, and he's going to get a first and goal Bears down to the 10-yard line. There we go. That's the momentum we're talking about. He'll line up in a slot right with Palmer and Peyton. Trent, twins to the left. Now they motion Caleb. They will hand off to him on the jet sweep. Turns it up at the 10 and is wrestled down at about the 8-yard line. Nice tackle. And they've got Cash Woody in at the receiver spot. Motion from Peyton right to left. Gavin under center, handoff left tackle is Henson, turns it up and is brought down as he gets close to the five. That'll be a gain of three. That'll be the final play of the first quarter. Bears on top by a score of 10 to zero. Looking to add to it when we come back. You're listening to the Bearcast at westbranchfootball.com. You uh, go support those small businesses any way and any time that you can. Back to action here, third down and goal for the Bears. Trips right. Gavin out of the gun with Carver alone to the left. There is the play action, and they go the underneath route there looking for Simon in the end zone. One of the defensive ends got his hand up and knocked it down. So the Bears will have to throw another field goal attempt in here. Ball just inside the right hash. Sexton to snap to Kelby. Snap, spot, kick, right through the uprights. Here we go. 11.53 to go in quarter number two. The Bears extend the lead to 13-0. To Stone and Rosenkild back to receive again. Fed's approach. This one a very high short kick. Angling over on the far side. Bears trying to get on it and trying to see. It looks like Wilton did get on it at about the 32 or 33 yard line. Move it up a couple of yards. Motion left to right for Savel. Out of the gun for Wilton. Straight drop back to pass. They're setting up the center screen, and they've got it set up beautifully. Belk, though, able to knife underneath, but they miss the tackle. Hole spins away and gets across the 50 down to the 43-yard line. A gain of... Twins right, and Savel's going to keep it. Gets away from one man in the backfield, spins away, starts running around backwards, and Fed will run him down, chase him down, back across the midfield at the 48-yard line. That is going to be a loss of nine on the play. Colby Sauvel alone here to the right. They're looking for him, coming on the go route near side. Peyton Miller with the defense, and the catch was made, but he was out of bounds. That was thrown in the exact right spot where yeah. only the twin brother could catch it. Good here, fellas. 10.40 to go, first half. Bears lead 13 to 0. Wilton running bodies left and right, trying to get all set up. Twins to the right, trips to the left. Savo, straight drop. Penalty flag comes in. Watch. 
Come with that same look. Rosenkild, Kirkman, and Clayton Guy are to the left. Sobel and Hull to the right. Coming, going on that deep route again. Sobel's behind Miller by a step, but the ball was thrown over by two steps. Falls incomplete, fourth down. Well, and I think... Snap, spot, there's the kick, end over end that Peyton will field on the run at the 23. Comes up the middle of the field, penalty flag comes in on the near side, probably going to have an illegal block. Gets out to about the 34-yard line. So, twins both ways for Gavin out of the gun. Henson straight behind him. There's the handoff for Andy. Left side, he's got yes. some running room. Down Bro. the middle of the field he goes. Bro. No flags yet. He's across midfield, 45-40. He's at the 30, the 20, 15, 10, 5, 80, 7-yard West Branch touchdown. And that is the first time Andy's broken away all year. You know, only a sophomore, but you know the talent is there. It's just a matter of harnessing it, Flugy. Yeah, and uh, once he got past that guy, you know, he wasn't going to be caught. And I tell you, the officials actually added some yardage on for him because there's no way that should have been spotted at the 13-yard line. <laughs> Middle of the field. Go with an empty look. Trips right. Twins left. Gavin from the gun. In motion Caleb. Take it to him. Gavin's going to keep it himself left side, and he fights yes. his way in for the two. Yeah, good decision, Gavin Hirschman. So 21-0, to zero, the Bears with the lead. Go first half, Bears out to a 21-0 lead. Wilton students getting into it as fed with the approach. This one, a nice deeper kick fielded by Stone at the 10. Up the middle of the field he comes and runs into a wall, but not before he gets across the 30 out to the 35-yard line. Cole Bailey on the tackle, and then a three and out. Receivers either way. Bears showing blitz. Handoff is to Hole up the middle. And gets ahead for about three on the play before a host of jerseys. Now a penalty flag comes in. All he had to do is just walk away. Stacked receivers both ways for Sobel on second down and six. Straight drop back to pass. Underneath it comes to Sobel, and he takes a shot in the back. And Mashinander thinking the ball dropped to the turf, but they're going to say he did get it for a gain of five on the play. Andy, his half, bears up by three scores. Twins both ways. Now they motion Sobel. They will fake to him, and Henson hits Sobel in the backfield, and they're going to bring him down for no gain on the play. That was a great read by Andy Henson, and, and of course uh, Buell was right there to help with that. Sending anybody back expecting a fake here. Sobel will just kick this one away. Hits at the 20, takes a big Wilton hop, and it hits the goal line. It will be a touchback, I believe, or are they going to say down at the 1? He is spotting that at the 1, even though I think the guy was touching the goal line when he touched the football. Jumbo look. And Tobias Lunsford. Thank you, gentlemen. Motion Peyton. Handoff left side is Andy. Up the middle of the field he comes and fights his way out across the five, almost the six. Is that laundry on the near side, though? Up the field until the ball is snapped. And so it's just those little things that you got to be aware of. So first down and 10.1. Gavin up under center. Hands off right side for Andy. Jumps away from first man in the end zone. Gets out for about a yard on the play. Get the play call. Motion Peyton right to left. Handoff goes to Andy again. Lowers the shoulder out across the five to the six. There's staying that eye formation look. Gavin, long count. Handoff goes to Henson, and, and he fights his way out across the 10. It. That'll be enough for the West Branch first down. First down, Bears just across the 10. Out of the gun is Gavin. Straight drop back to pass. Setting up the screen for Andy, and runs into his own man at the line of scrimmage, able to fight ahead. 
and gets about two on the play, maybe three. It's 5.45 to go, first half. Twins both ways for Gavin. Belt comes in motion left to right. They will hand off that way for Henson. Tries to get to the outside, nothing doing there. As Wilton just strung that one out. Well defense. Left, trips to the right. Gavin alone in the shotgun. Straight drop back to pass. Goes down for Peyton, and it is knocked away. A lot of contact there, but no call. Probably a good no call. In six-yard average coming in. Colby Sauvolt, 41-and-a-half-yard average with a touchdown on one of them. That one's a short kick. Takes a decent West Branch hop, and it will roll dead out at the 44-yard line. A 31-yard punt. And we Bears have twins right. Motion with a wing from the left to the right side. There's the handoff to the left side. Jackson Hole, nice tackle right there by Caleb Sexton. Brings him down for a loss of a yard on the play. They spotted it back ahead a yard, but such it is. Second down and 10. Quick hitch route comes over here for Kirkman. Makes the catch going to the turf at the 26. Left. Kirkman and Savel to the right. Guy, your wing on the left side of the formation. Now we've got timeout, I believe, taken. Third down and seven for Wilton. Out of the shotgun. Savol straight drop back to pass. Under pressure, and he's going to get drilled from behind. Caleb Sexton making a name for being the Main Street Suites polar bear of the game. Drops him back at the 35, a loss of nine. That is a linebacker's dream because there wasn't a guy that laid a hand on him. <laughs> Savol. Straight drop back to pass. Comes on the slant route oh, and it's yeah. picked off. Who Pick else? Caleb, Caleb Sexton at the 24-yard line. Yeah, he just... We got two timeouts. Three thirty. One timeout. One timeout? Yeah, we used one before the two-point conversion, too. Uh. Twins both ways for Gavin. Out of the gun. There's the handoff for Henson. Comes near side, 30. Cuts it back out at the 35. He was just tripped up as he gets ahead for a gain of 12 on the play. That'll be enough for the first down. The ball Bears are right back up on the line. First down Bears at the 36. Twins both ways for Gavin. Handoff goes to Andy again. Big hole up the middle, 40, 45, midfield. Brought down into Wilton territory at the 47, 48-yard line. And a last-second decision whether to give it to Andy or not. Watch him to pull it out and run. First down, Bears back up to the line of scrimmage. Gavin gets the offense set, flares it out over here to Caleb, bobbles a little bit, makes the catch, turns it up, 40, 35, 32, 31 yard line. That's gonna be another 15 on the play for the senior. Bears again, right back up to the line of scrimmage, two and a half and counting here, left to go before halftime. Gavin, straight drop back to pass. Comes coming down the near side for Belk. He goes up, makes the grab, and goes into the end zone oh for a 32-yard touchdown. What a great catch. Complete the bolt. That Holy is a hell. thing of beauty to watch here from the sideline, as I'm sure it was from up in the press box. Carver's second touchdown reception of the night. What a pass. And Gavin put that on the money. Stone and Rosen killed. Flip sides this time. There's a bent kick into Stone on the right side of our coverage. Rosenkild's going to get this one. This one's going to bounce at the 20. Rosenkild picks it up and brought down. Open field tackle. Who else? We've called him all first half. Number 40, Caleb Sexton, brings him down inside the 25-yard line. Trips right. One alone is Rosenkild to the left for Sovel out of the shotgun. Bears bring pressure. Bowie forces him out of the pocket. Savol stumbles a little bit, now throws off of his back foot, and Carver Belk knocks it to the turf. Looked like he may have had a beat on it, but uh, Savol comes back and knocks it away. Incomplete pass, second down. Yeah. Everywhere he goes. Yeah, and they've double teed him a couple times tonight, so more than a couple, I should say. Second and 10. Savol straight drop back to pass, sets up the screen underneath four hole on the left side. He's got a couple blockers out in front of him, weaves his way through traffic out across the 30, 32 oh, yard line, three That's yard line. Great. Clock starts, 150 to go before half. 
Savo, one hands the snap. Pump fake, looking to go deep. Under pressure by Bowie, gets away from him. Now comes the near side, and Andy Henson with a nice tackle brings him down at the 40. It'll be a gain of seven on the play. Twins both ways. A little tunnel screen here to the other Savol. He's going to get the first down and steps out close to midfield, right at, well, they're going to say just across midfield. Again, twin look both directions for Savol. Bears bring pressure. Bobbled in the backfield, and Henson yeah, yeah. missed him, but Fed's Fetty. not going to. Savol didn't go to the turf, but the referee blew it dead. They're going to spot him back at the 44 yard line. Came in untouched. Second and long for the Beavers. Trips left. Sobel throws on the far side. Kirkman makes the catch and gets back across midfield. And there is the open field tackle. Oh, Ball comes out. We and got it. Gets it at the 45-yard line. Yeah. Kinnick Belt coming in, making the tackle. He ripped that out of him. And they just ripped it away. That was a great job. Uh, and, you know, he missed a... He missed a uh, Belt missed the tackle on all the previous series that let him, allowed that first down. So no timeout remaining. Gavin from the gun. Twins both directions. Straight drop back to pass. Good protection. Now he's forced out of the pocket. Steps up. Throws off a of one foot. And he's got it to Belk again. Makes the catch 45. Breaks the tackle 40. Turns it up. And a heady play by the sophomore to get out of bounds at the 38-yard line. So back up to the line of scrimmage. But they start the clock. So apparently he didn't get out of bounds. Gavin, straight drop back to pass down the middle of the field. Caleb makes the catch and is brought down at the 20-yard line. Now they That's should just rush up and down it. Yeah, yeah. Bears get set. Gavin, straight drop back. Comes on the tunnel screen and just airmailed that yeah, looking for Peyton. Completely. Hear from him when we come at our halftime break. Bears second and 10. Peyton shuffle motion from the right side. Looking down the middle of the field. Gavin off his back foot. Gets it to Simon. Makes the catch. Turns up at the five. Bears try to hustle to the line of scrimmage. Now they will take their last time out with 10 point. Trips right. Twins left. You take precedence. You're shooting, you're shooting a photo. All right. Look for Palmer and Miller over here to the Bears side. Andy motions from right to left. Gavin. Looks that way, goes for the fade route for Simon, yes. and he makes the grab in the end zone for the five-yard touchdown. What a target. You know, he's 6'4", and has got a long reach, and just what a target. Uh, Well-conceived play. I'd like to get home early tonight. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hungry. Bears come out, twins right. Belkalone to the left. Motion comes to Peyton. Looks for some running room on the left side and nothing doing there as Wilton flew well to the football. How was it? Rosenkild and Stone back to receive again. Federlin readies the coverage team. Nice high end over end kick that Stone will field back at the 10. Comes up the middle of the field, cuts it back to the far side. Breaks a couple of tackles, but he's not going to get away from four other white shirts right there Seven down at the 20-yard line. Turn. That bears on top by a score of 33-0. to zero. And they are playing West Branch football here tonight. We will take a uh, quick Coach Hirschman here with us. Coach, 350 yards total offense first half. Can't do much better than that. Offense performed very well. Right, right. 367 to be exact. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> exact um, but what we need to concentrate on now is finishing a game. And that's been part of our problem so far is we've had a good quarter or two, not four quarters. So we need to make sure we don't get lulled to sleep here and have two good quarters and then have two subpar quarters. Well, and, uh, you know, the set, you know, actually the fourth quarter last week, uh, you know, we've got two scores and, and darn near got a third coming back. Um, this very well may be the turning point of the season because these guys have really continued on the, this first half offensively and defensively. They have, and it's been it's been a lot of good things to see. I mean, we've worked on fade routes and practice. It's been good to see the guys run them, catch them. Made a great catch there. Carver did. Good ball by Gavin. Um, but most proud of our offensive line. They've done a really good job tonight. We're blocking zone extremely well. 
against two different fronts. They keep changing fronts. One of them we've never seen, never practiced. Our guys picked it up on the fly first time, and uh, that was the big touchdown to Andy. Well, uh, again, great job, uh, offensive line. Gavin looks very comfortable throwing. We got a little bit of a scare there when he got uh, his leg hit there early on, but it uh, looks like he's sufficiently recovered and throwing the ball well. Yeah, I mean, that, that knee's just going to be a little sore, and if you tweak it here and there, it's going to be sore for a while, but it, I mean, he's realized that he's he's back, and it's going to hurt for a little bit, and it's going to hurt sometimes, but he can play through it, so it's well, good. Well, very good. Thanks a lot, Coach. Keep yep. it going second half. Yep, thanks, Jerry. Thank Three nothing Bears with the lead. Start of half number two. And the left-footed Ray will angle this one near side. Caleb makes the catch at the 20 and comes up the near side and is wrestled down out across the 35, 36, maybe the 37-yard line. Andy Henson running the ball like that. Yeah. Trips right. Belk alone to the left. Gavin from the gun. Long count. Handoff up the middle is Andy, and he's fighting his way out across the 40 to the 41, 42-yard line. Gain of five on the play. Five from the 41. Twins both ways for the Bears. Gavin, long cadence. Straight drop back to pass. Going deep down that far sideline again, and good coverage by Rosenkild down there. Stride for stride with Carver. Yeah, it was it was a good next week. Yeah, I'll fill you in on what Jake had to say here after this play. Third down and five. Caleb motions left to right. Gives a trips look this way. Fake the flare pass. Come near side for Peyton. Makes the catch. Side steps one guy, but can't get away from two others. And he's brought down for a loss of a yard. The Bears will have to punt it away. Quinny, go ahead. Cello, um, but all three of them want to host the game. And so that's why the negotiations are taken. But hopefully we will have uh, a game next week. It's a spiraling punt that goes right over here to Coach Hetzler for Wilton. That's going to be a short kick. And so I'm going to blame Lyle Seidel. It's like talking about a no-hitter while it happens. There's the handoff up the middle for Hole. Gets across the 40. Oh, with the carry. Um, it's just a... It's a crapshoot at this point. Second down. There is Sovel. Going to keep it himself, and he's got some running room on the near side. He's going to fight his way up. Penalty flag comes in as he gets out near midfield. I think it's coming back for a hold, though. Yeah, they had Caleb pretty good, at least from our, our side. Um, the guy grabbed him in the back of the shirt. So Three different units out there that just weren't quite fully in sync yet. Wilton stacks receivers both ways. Play action. They come on the tunnel out over there to Sovel, and he makes the grab. Ball comes out. Sex, or Fed comes up with it, but they're going to say he was down. Out to the 38-yard line, a gain of six. Brings three wide to the left. Sovel one-on-one -on -one with Peyton over to the right. Bears bring pressure. They're looking underneath. Sovel yes, is sir. swarmed under, and there's four white jerseys around him. Bailey and Buell and Hartz, Bowie, yeah, Sexton, I think, I think Caleb take Sexton your pick. got the first hand on it, and then uh, they held him up, and they all got they all helped get there. Lost. Trying to tell, is that uh, Carver back, I think, to receive? Sava with a high kick angling near side. Hits at the 42, and it'll go out of bounds. About the 41. Well, so... Other than they've got the uh, first down marker going the wrong way. <laughs> they treated that like a Wilton first down. There so we are. We ball. knew Andy would have an influence on them. <laughs> first down Bears from the 40. Play action. They throw it out there to Caleb. Makes the catch. Turns it up. Gets ahead for about three on the play. Belk, Palmer, and Miller come out wide to the right. Belk alone to the left. Handoff up the middle is Henson, and he's falling across the 45 to the 46-yard line, a gain of three. Peyton and Simon and twins to the left. Miller comes in motion, gives a trips look over here to the right side. Gavin forced out of the Gavin's pocket. He's got, got some running field. room on that left side. Cross midfield, 45-40, 35-30 at the 25, 28-yard line. He's going to step out of bounds. That knee looked healthy right there on that scramble for the first down. Boy, that, he, he showed some wheels there. 20. Trips right. 
Carver alone to the left. Pump fake, looking for him, and Gavin under pressure, throws it over there nope. to Bowie. That's going to be an intentional ground. I think, yeah. he, I think he thought that that was... They need to get to the 18, so... Second down and 25. Handoff goes to Henson, left side, 40. Hits contact there, falls ahead to the 35-yard line. A gain of eight. That would be a good time to try a screen. Trips right. Carver alone to the left. And they run a counter play for Andy. And Wilton read it. Andy spun away from the first man, gets ahead for just a couple on the play. Right left. Peyton, Simon, and Kinnick to the right. Now they're going to motion Henson over here to the right side. Straight drop back to pass. Pump fake. Going down the middle of the field. They got Palmer behind the defense. Makes the yes. grab at the five. Into yes. the end zone. Fourth down and 14. They get 33 and the score. Holy cow. Boy, that fake really drew the safety in. Palmer open by probably seven yards. I, Gavin looks so comfortable yeah. back there. Just waiting and being. Sexton. Snap to Kelby. Spot kick, and Fed gets this one right through the uprights. 5.09 to go, third quarter. Bears on top, 40-0. to zero. Back right after this, you're listening to the BearCast at westbranchfootball.com. Rosen killed and Stone back to receive as Kale Federlin walks off the steps for his run-up. Make sure everybody's ready. Approach. Just want a high end over end. Stonefields at the 13. Comes up the middle of the field and gets out close to the 30 yard line. The 30 for the Beavers. Stacked receivers both directions. Bears bringing pressure. Handoff goes to Hole and he's hitting the backfield. He's able to fall ahead. Forward progress will get him to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Twins both directions again. And stacking the receivers. They're showing blitz. Sobel comes on the pop route near side. Rosenkild makes the grab. Caleb Sexton actually got there a little bit early and a wise play. Didn't touch him, so he didn't get a pass interference penalty. Reach the sticks to the 40. First down, Beavers. Tight end formation. Receivers either way. Sovel's going to keep it himself, gets outside of the defensive end. Drill, though, as he comes over here by Kinnick Belk. Laid a shot to him as he gets ahead for a gain of four on the play. Second and six from the 44. Handoff up the middle is Holt. Runs into his lineman and then lowers the shoulder across midfield ahead to the 49-yard line. And I think Wilton at this point is just trying to get anything established. Branch 49-yard line. They're showing blitz. Sobel going on the go route down the far side for the brother Sobel. And Peyton Miller reacts, gets there at the last second, and knocks it down incomplete. Boy, Peyton was locked up on him one-on-one, -on -one, no help whatsoever. Turned his hips, ran with him, and then turned around and looked for the ball at the exact moment that he needed to. Continues to run. 140 to go, third quarter. Bears on top, 40-0. to zero. Handoff up the middle is Holt. And he gets inside the 45 oh, to the 43-yard line, a gain of six. And well, there's only one of us that got to eat, so <laughs> we know who that's going to come from. Savo keeps it himself. Bears trying to string it out, and good job by Hunger as he throws him out of bounds. Good job by... Fourth down and two. Savo. Play action, pump fake, forced out of the pocket by Buell, now throws on the run, and nice adjustment by the brother Colby, and gets the catch, goes into the end zone for the 42-yard touchdown. You know, Peyton had... So they will go for two. Four wide, Savel sprints out to the right, throws the lob pass to the corner of the end zone, penalty flag comes in. They're going to get another chance at it here from a little bit closer, 40-8. to eight. Q, kill your mic, please. Savolt 
Goes underneath, and the catch is made by Savel to make it 40 to eight. So 18 seconds to go in the third quarter. Bears lead cut to 32. Add a scare. We're doing a lot of work all alone in this press box. Hey, Pete Swisher, everybody. Pete Swisher's down here. There is the kickoff fielded by Caleb Sexton inside the 20-yard line and breaks through a couple of waves of tackles, gets out close to the 40. Four wide. Belks to the right. Palmer and Miller to the left. Kennett goes in motion right to left. Hand off that way is Andy. Turns it up and almost kept his feet as he gets across the 40 to the 43-yard line. Well, here Bears lead by a score of 40 to eight, start of the fourth quarter. Second down and six from their own 43 yard line. Gavin out of the gun, hands off Andy left side and he's spun down as he gets across the 45 to the 47, a gain of four, it'll be third and two. Carver Belk over here to the left. Gavin from the gun. Hands off up the middle for Andy. Nice cut. Oh, and he slipped as he tried turning it back. But he does get across midfield to about the other 47-yard line. Again, first down Bears at the Wilton 48-yard line. Bears lead 40-8. to eight. Gavin hands off to Dom. Sidesteps one man, then lowers the shoulder. Fights his way ahead down to the 46. Again, of a couple on the play. Over. Simon and Miller to the right. Gavin, long count, straight drop back to pass. Comes near side, going deep for Cash Woody near the sideline, and a flag will come in. The defender was face guarding, which was okay, but then he ran Cash out of bounds with some contact before the ball was there. So that'll be 15 and a first down for the Bears. Franzoni still in there at tackle. Culver still in there at the running back spot. Wins both ways for Gavin. On oh, the Bears jump. So that'll be five yards Bears back. Palmer and Miller to the right. Belk and Woody to the left. Gavin gets everybody set. Straight drop back to pass. Forced out of the pocket. Rolls to his left. Tries to square the shoulders. Nothing there. Now throws and takes a shot as well. Incomplete pass. Second down. Wins both directions for Hirschman out of the gun. Handoff left side is Culver. Tries to get to the outside. Nothing doing there as he's wrestled down. Oh, Penalty flag comes in, though. Yeah, they're going to call him for grabbing a helmet or horse collar. Not a first down. It was second down and two now. Second and three from the 22. Kelby hands off for Dom on the left side. Same Over. to greet again. Yeah, Dom gets ahead Willie. for about a yard on the play. We're short a guy right now. We got twins right, but one to the left. One of the guys came off that wasn't supposed to. Hand off to Dom, and he fights his way ahead. He's going to get close to the first down. I think he's going to get it. Yeah, and I don't think they threw a flag there. Bears looking for an opponent next week as Northeast is in the COVID protocol. Supposed to be our final home game before we go to Durant and Beckman for the last two weeks. Handoff left side is Culver. A little bit of a hole there as he fights his way down Culver to the 15-14 yard line. Yeah, and for West Branch, and he earned 15 records out of 16 in high school. Wow. Phenomenal guy, that's for sure. There's the handoff to Dom again, and he backpedals his way down to the 10, a gain of three. Well, guys... The game would be Gavin. I okay. mean, he's just uh, done well. And I think uh, Caleb is the job, too. But I would say for the uncommon play of the game, I'd have to go with Andy Henson in an 87-yard run. There you go. Penalty flag comes in as Dom Culver gets Culver down to the one on a speed Dom option play. Dom hit that guy. Yard line. They're down at 10. Kelby out of the gun. Twins both directions. Looks like Brady Hunger in at a receiver on the right side. Speed option. They come to Dom. Weaves his way through a small hole, breaks one tackle, turns, lowers the shoulder, and before he's wrapped up and brought down at the 13, a gain of six, third and short. 11 with Will Cornwell. From the left hash mark. 
Snap there, spot, kick, plenty of leg. And it is right through the yeah, uprights. All right. Six Good job, Fetty. 6.25 he to go. He is now a co-holder of the record of 11 field goals made in a career. And the opportunity to see if he'll take over from his brother after this year. And the approach. Nice high kick. Stone will have to field it. Bobbles it actually back at the 10-yard line. Ball rolling around back there. He's able to pick it up, and the Bears will swarm him down back inside the 20 at the 15-yard line. I think uh, Jerry he didn't think he didn't think that ball was coming that far that fast, and it just carried on him, and he couldn't bring it in. Uh, Lead again. Got yeah, Holden Arneman in in a corner. Gavin Hills in at a linebacker. Handoff goes to Hole up the middle for Wilton, and he gets out close to the 30-yard line. A gain of 13 on the play. Savel still in at quarterback for Wilton. From the gun, just handoff off tackle. Near side is Holt. Breaks a couple of arm tackles and is brought All down across the 35 to the 38. Quick snap. Handoff left tackle is Hole again, and he's going to get... To the carry. 40, a gain of three and a first down. Just as soon as we find out who our opponent's going to be next Friday. And there's the handoff for Kale Brisker. Nice tackle there by Cash Woody. Met him in the hole with the shoulder pad. Those seniors that uh, doesn't see the field a lot, but he's busting his butt every week in practice. Now we're going to have a penalty flag. False start on Wilton. Yeah. Finding his way out onto the varsity field. Second down and 10 for the Beavers. Handoff. Oh, the quarterback's going to keep it himself and comes near side, is brought Good down tackle. by Woody. Walker with the carry. Down here with some of the linemen, and they're still cheering on uh, Butler. <laughs> there is Brisker off tackle left side, and he is dropped. Franzoni and Wyatt Federlin bring him down to expect because it's just been such an off-kilter year and you know with injuries and young kids and for them to come down here and stick out a performance like this against a, a good Wilton team. Yeah, uh, Bears, have play, Bears have played very, very well tonight. I mean, it, it'll be uh, fun doing the interview with Coach Peterson afterwards. Scott, Buell, Franzoni, your line, Kaleberg and Miller to the right, Hunger and Woody to the left. Kelby Berger out of the gun. Uh, tell me. I, I lost by five votes. Long count. It's going to kneel down back at the 20-yard line, and the Bears get the win by a score of 43-8. to eight. We'll take a quick timeout and have your postgame right after this. This is the BearCast at westbranchfootball.com. Yeah,